Well, when you take a look at the other districts to keep an eye on, another one that kind of jumps out at me is uh, District Number 8 in the southwest part of the state. The mm -hmm. reason why is because you do have a, a, a Voca Shelby Tenet, but then you also have Bedford. And then you've got some other teams that have never made the playoffs before that actually have a shot this year. Yeah, I, yeah, that'll be fun uh, trying to get four out of there, whether it's Corning. But, you know, Trainer, they, they do an awesome job. And they've always, when, when, when given the opportunity and given the, athlete, you know, the, the opportunity, they've won a state championship there. So that, you know, they're not your, they're not your West Bend Mallards, your Harlands. But the Trainers, you know, Trainers are pretty close. Yeah, who, are you got kind of a sleeper there, BJ? You said, <laughs> you, said you got one there that maybe. Uh, I, I just really like Avoca Shelby Tennant. Well, you always uh, have to like them. They're, I mean, the Vikings are, have always been traditionally strong. And then, of course, you move around in Class A, and, and of course, you have to bring up the name of Madrid. The Tigers have always been strong under Randy Hinkle, and this year, uh, they have some players back that are really going to put a lot of pop and a lot of fear in, into some of their opponents. I think, uh, you know, Coach Folkert's uh, is over at Martinsdale St. Mary's, and they had an opportunity to, uh, you know, move back up from eight man. They had a rough year in eight man. I think part of it was that adjustment, and they're back up. Uh, so Martinsdale will be fun. Southeast Warren's always good. Linville Sully, you know, has won a state championship also uh, at some point. Des Moines Christian's unique, and Colonesco's always had They were actually 3-0 until they played Madrid last year. But this whole class begins and starts with Madrid. You can make an argument over the last five or six years, what happened that Madrid didn't win it? Because they've been good enough to win the state championship the last five or six years. And it's only a matter of time. And part of that playoff uh, atrophy, so to speak, or that attrition that goes back to back to back, Madrid's had some tough luck with that. You know, we talk about expanding the playoffs because some kids get injured early and teams get better. Well, I think it does just the opposite sometimes. We have so many rounds, kids get beat up. Madrid's an example of this. But you're not going to hurt Cody Mathewson. He is perhaps the best football player that's not known in the state of Iowa. And folks, if Randy Hinkle wanted this kid to run for 3,000 yards this year, he would. He'd probably run for 4,000 yards, and I'm not kidding. This is a program that averages 400 yards a game, and Cody could get them all. And with the competition they're playing, it's possible. I mean, he could say it. This kid's that good in that district. Yeah, Cody Matheson, by the way, being recruited by the likes of Air Force, Iowa, Iowa State. I'm looking at him right now. So if you're looking for a good game, maybe go to the Tigers' den. Now, is Madrid your number one team to start off the season in Class A? Well, you know, that said, we've got a couple of teams moving down, where it's Lake City Southern Cal or, you know, Mason City Newman or AH AHST, who's always a good program. The, the guys do good. But I wouldn't pick against Madrid. And when you – and Wapsie Valley, I've talked to the coaching staff there, some people associated with the program. They still think they're a couple years away, but that's the unique thing, I think, BJ, about high school football. Is some of these coaches, and Tony Foster's done a great job. They've been right in the mix the last three or four years, and there's no IKM and there's no Manila. They are gone, and that's good for this class if you're in that class. And that, that's a tradi two traditional powers that have moved on and combined. Um, sometimes I think you put a lot of emphasis on this is our year. This is when we have all our good kids. Well, you know what? Look who you had to play. You had to play Dyke New Hartford. You had to play Montezuma. You had to play AP or you had to play this to get there. And those schools were all good and they beat you up. You got a championship and lost. Sometimes it's the year where you're not sure how good you are and things fall into place. And that, that has happened for a few coaches and talking over the years. So maybe maybe Madrid's the best team, but maybe something falls into place for, you know, Southern Cal this year or somebody like that. So I don't know. I, I don't want to pick it, but <laughs> I, I, if I had to pick the team, I'm taking Madrid, obviously. Coach Hinkle is, he's, you know, he's, he's going to have to give me some money for that, for that pick, but no, it oh. should be fun. 